PowerShell formatting. Hi, I'm Don Jones, and while the formatting system in PowerShell is a great way to get the results you really want on the screen in terms of making everything look pretty and nice, it also contains one of the biggest gotchas in PowerShell, the thing that really trips people up. So let's, let's help you get past that so it doesn't trip you up going forward. PowerShell's formatting system is pretty rich. Uh, let's take a command like get process. Normally that formats in a table of, what is it, seven or eight columns, but if I want it to be a list, I can just say get process and pipe it to format list. Give it a list of the things I wanna see. How about just the name and the ID? And that's what I get. Uh, sometimes you might just want a more compact display like format wide will do. That'll default to the name property, although you can tell it I wanna see the ID instead. You know, I think I can probably fit about five columns. In fact, you know what? Why don't you fit as many columns as you can? Playing around with tables is fun too. Like I said, the default for this particular command's output is a table, but I can pipe it to format table and give it my own list of properties, name, ID, VM, and PM. And see, the table command wants to automatically fill the width of your screen. So if you add minus auto size to it, it'll help compact it in a little bit so it doesn't waste all that space. You know, you can also just forget about the uh, minus property and listing them all. Just tell it minus property star. Have it list all the properties, or at least in this case, as many as it can. You'll notice that last column has got the three dots, meaning it had to cut off some information. So I'm gonna let it wrap. So each one can take up more than one line. Now, here's something fun. I love to do this. We're just gonna keep with star, but I'm gonna take out the auto size and the wrap and you get your very own little matrix screensaver. You can put that at the top of your user's login scripts and tell them they finally made it into the matrix. Format table can do a lot of other cool stuff. Uh, for example, when we run get process, the default display here actually lists these values in kilobytes. Uh, kilo for that one, kilo for that one, megs for VM. But the underlying property as you'll see if I do format list minus property star, is actually in bytes. See there? So that means we can turn that into something else if we want to, and here's a really, really cool trick you can do, and I'm gonna use format table for this. You get process, pipe it to format table. Format custom's really not all that useful. And I'm gonna start to give it a list of the properties I wanna see. First of all, I want it to auto size, so I'll put that first. Now, properties, uh, I want the name, I want the ID, and now I'm gonna make a custom column. Check this out. I'm gonna give it the name VM in megabytes, and the expression that will calculate the contents of this goes in another set of curly brackets, and it's gonna be whatever the original VM was divided by one megabyte. And there's a little trick we can do here that's gonna result in a fractional value, so I'm gonna add a format string and ask it to make that a two decimal place numeric. All of that is one property, from the at sign all the way through to that closing curly bracket. So now I can do another one of the same thing. This time let's do PM in megabytes. The expression is gonna be real similar, dollar sign underscore PM divided by one megabyte and then a format string, oops, that makes it a two numeric. And this is when you just kind of hit enter and hope for the best. Ooh, look at that. I got my column headers exactly the way I specified in those name portions. I got my two decimal points there. And uh, this column would actually be smaller if it wasn't for this ginormous name there, but that's okay if that's what it takes to display all that. The neat thing about doing this is I can then out it to a file, out file, procs.txt. Here's the big gotcha. This is the thing that trips everybody up. You think, okay, I've gone through all that trouble and I've, I've created all that, so instead of putting in a text file, you know what, I wanna, I wanna convert it to HTML. Convert to HTML. I'll put that HTML into a file, procs.html. Now let's take a look at that. C procs.html. Uh huh. Yeah, here's the problem. Let's back off of that convert to HTML. Here, let's clear the screen so we can make this a little bit clearer. Whenever you use a format command, what that produces 
is actually just a bunch of PowerShell internal format data. After you have used a format command, as I've done here, you can't do anything except out file or out printer or out string, all of which will create the same type of display that you would normally have on the screen, just in a file or on the printer or in a giant string. So once you've formatted, you're done. No more converting, no exporting, nothing else. That's the big trick. Make sure if you're gonna format, it appears at the end of your entire command line, unless it's followed by out file or out printer, really. If you do that, if you can just remember that formatting has to go last, you'll avoid one of the biggest gotchas in all of PowerShell. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.